I've seen confirmation that they are together and yeah. also confirmation that Gigi is cool with it. Yeah. From Gigi's like yeah. publicist, whatever, as long as Zane is uh, happy and stable, she says that she's fine with it. What do you think about so about that's a very I thought it was backhanded too. Oh, but you I, know, it, no, it's I nice to say that that's it's nice. Yeah, okay. But, I don't know. Well, I but then you have to like remember, kind of, you have to remember the stable. Yolanda drama, right? The stable thing, and you have to well, remember the that Yolanda kind of, drama. Kind of, honestly, I thought it was kind as of like a little bit of a, of a mature statement. Like no, it's, it's very like, mature. It's very the mature. father of her kid. So it's, 100% it's like, hey, I'm happy as long as he's like yes. taking care of himself. Yes, I think seems pretty fair to me to say out I loud. She wants totally anything. agree. Totally agree. I do wonder though if it's because people are now saying shit like. um you know, Selena's friends with Gigi, like really good friends with Gigi. Like, why is this okay? What's happening here? Were but Selena I feel like and all, Gigi ever that close? They I know, went to that that New Year's that New Year's time. But they, I mean, I know they share Taylor as a very good friend. But like, true. Are well, Selena then, and Gigi hanging out well, individually? Selena, that, it all goes back to this thing that everyone keeps talking about is when they took Selena over to overseas for New Year's when it was Kendall, it was Gigi, it was Selena, mm, it was distract. that crew <laughs> to distract so Haley could you know yeah, yeah, cupcake yeah. with uh, Justin yeah. on New Year's. Yeah. So I don't know how good of friends they are, but people are a little weird about it. People are like, well, Gigi and and they were all in Taylor Swift's music video together. I know. I just like, assume that at this point it's just like they know that's that. that Someone they it's just gonna they, they just know that they're gonna be dating in the same circle. Like yeah. it's just even from the standpoint of like Bella and yeah. the weekend, you know, it's that's totally. her sister and that it's just mm-hmm. like they're Selena very entwined in all of their She's lives. She's right. She in seems to be. Ways. She seems to be like the common denominator between a lot of people at the moment. You know what's and funny I'm, though? I'm it's like maybe that. there's just this group of girls and this group of guys. And they were all friends at some point or Mm -hmm. intertwined at some point. And now things are just starting to fall into place where the people that they are supposed to like be with are now Mm -hmm. like figuring it out. Yeah. It's like, oh, in their 20s, there were a friend group that all just hooked up with each other. Right. And right. they all just like had those moments, which I think a lot of friend groups have. Oh, it's please, like your girl. girl and your guy friends are I can't hooking even talk up. About it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And now, you know, they're getting older. What's like, okay, you know what? Actually, that one I think is right. Right. Is could be the one. Now, obviously, we're jumping the gun here on Selena and Zane. Like this is one Yeah, who knows? Uh, they went out. This is one on date, date here. Although they did like. I did see like reports confirmed they're dating, but I don't know why, yeah. you know, I don't know it's I will how say serious Selena and Zane makes me a little I don't a think it's a little nervous. I don't think it's a good pairing. I'll say it. Yeah. I, I do not think it's a good pairing. It makes pairing. me a little nervous I think for they're both the issues that they people. both individually have. Yes. I think and as a pairing, I don't know if that compliments each other I agree completely I think they're both very vulnerable people I don't know if uh I mean Selena's been through a lot of shit the past couple weeks months you yeah. know what I mean like she's going through it right now Zane's going through it he's you know he might be on the fresh end and yeah. kind of coming out of a lot of drama but he's been in the news the past couple of years that mm-hmm. uh, you know we can't forget about the discrepancy with Yolanda Yolanda's yeah. a fucking freak as well so I'm not like saying that it's that that story is all accurate right, from right, her right. either but all of that drama was crazy. And yeah. now we have this. So I, I'm anxious to see what, what goes on, what happens. I think that... Um, that I do I, think I'm Gigi's Gigi. just like living her best life Gigi's too. Like, you know, whatever, man. She's just like... like I don't care. I want to Leo. I'm, right. Sometimes I hang out with Leo. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. I'm not. She's I'm, chilling. I'm sure there's I other people. She's, she's, she does seem like a cool girl. She seems cool. She seems unproblematic. She seems like she just kind of goes with the flow. And it really out. does seem like she gets along with everybody. Yeah, You know, like does. I don't think I've... I don't hear bad like, things Gigi about her. Like Gigi seems to be the only one that connects a lot of these people sometimes. Totally, yeah. It's like, oh well, she's friends with Gigi and they're friends with Gigi, but it's like, yeah. There's no, there's no issues really with I met Gigi honestly once. either Hadid sister. I feel like that's you know? true. That's true. I met Gigi once for like thirty seconds backstage yeah. at the Tom Ford show, and I I didn't know what to say. Damn. I was like, Did I was you, like, you look beautiful, she and she's like, thanks. Her sultry voice response. You see, her, oh well, just a yeah. thanks. thanks. <laughs> I was like, you're welcome, because I have the same voice. Yeah. I love it. I, and then I and then I was like, yeah. you're too pretty. I need to walk away. Yeah, I feel yeah. ugly next to you. Yeah. So that was that. So that's a connection that's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll see maybe if there's a more like actual photographic evidence of that uh, of that being a thing yeah and we'll monitor the situation closely yes and the second situation was you know we joked a lot about Emily Ratajkowski and Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde but now the discussion has basically turned to Olivia being Ooh. very upset which I don't think I ever realized and you know 
maybe it's real, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, that hair, uh, uh, Emily and Olivia are were like that good of friends. Like these reports are basically that Olivia is so upset, mm-hmm. she's good friends. Emrat is so remorseful. She's so upset. It's not going to happen again. Like yeah, all this yeah. stuff that it's like, wait, wait a second. Like I it had seems no very idea. fishy. And then that the threesome rumor that people are saying is true, isn't true. Now Dumois is like saying that this is like one of those funny Hollywood. Like telephone just, games. Yeah. One of those yeah, funny Hollywood, just like yeah. urban legends where right, it's like right. everyone's like, well, what about that story? But And it's just because everyone said it so many times. It's like people think happened. it's true. Um, so I don't know. I guess if they were really that. If they were really that close, then yeah, kind of fucked up on by both parties. Kind of fucked up for sure. I also, I, I just have never once seen them talk about each other or hang out. Like I, I, I know that's no why it's like idea. So I, I can't like gauge if, the situation. I feel like Olivia Wilde sneaky has like maybe a lot of girls in Hollywood that she considers good friends. Probably from, the, from like the way she posts on Instagram about her friends and stuff, or posts True. like people. I'm like, you know, maybe She's she does have friendly, these connections. Friendly gal. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. 